Welcome one and all to Ati Minan's video reviews. Today I'm here with Ubuntu. To be more specific, Ubuntu 11.10 on a record slot. And I'm here to review a very famous desktop note tracking application called Tomboy Notes. So, uh, without further delay, let's just open up Tomboy Notes. So, this is the default interface that we get with Tomboy Notes. Let's just start with a new note. the word Linux here I'm going to use it with the feature link now what link does is it links a specific word to another node so when I uh, use the word Linux for making a link it has made another node with the to uh, topic as Linux so I can continue with the note now Uh, now as you can see Tomboy Notes has been linked with Linux which has been in turn linked with Ubuntu. Now I will show you the node feature. Now what I have done is created two notebooks separately called Tomboy and Ubuntu and I'm going to go ahead and put both Ubuntu and Linux into um, the notebook Ubuntu and Tomboy notes into Tomboy. Now uh, Tomboy and Ubuntu will filter the notes. Uh, yeah, so Tomboy notes will give us the Tomboy notes, and Ubuntu will give us Ubuntu and Linux, um, which I have put in. The built-in uh, switch is not too shabby either. It's pretty good actually. Now. As you can see, I have spelled the word awesome wrongly, so uh, it comes with autocorrection, so I can correct it. It also comes with various text editing features such as redo, undo, bold, italics, strike through, highlight, fixed width, underline, and it also comes with bulleting features. Now we can also synchronize notes in Tomboy Notes. Uh, that's the best thing about Tomboy Notes actually. It synchronizes your notes with Ubuntu One. Now most of us know what's Ubuntu One. It's a cloud, so it helps you synchronize notes between different computers. If you are uh, signed into Ubuntu One using the same account. Uh, now you also have the ability to export HTML, which I'll be doing right now. I'm gonna make something called. I'm gonna name it test.html, and I'm gonna put it in my desktop. Now this is as you can see. Now it is an HTML file. Okay, moving on. You also have the ability to print it. And yes, of course, delete it. Um, you also get a uh, icon on the status bar. It actually represents a pin. From here, you can create new notes. You can search all the notes, uh, the uh, recent notes. You can uh, synchronize notes. You can um, edit the preferences. Help about Homeboy. Okay, now we'll go ahead to the preferences. Okay, under preferences, under edi editing, we get spell check while typing, highlight wiki words, enable auto bulleted lists, use custom font when renaming a links note, ask me what to do, and uh, the new note template. Under hotkeys, you can set up the various hotkeys. Synchronization helps you to edit the synchronization features, and add ins helps you to enable and disable the various add ins. We've got a quite a uh, we, we've got quite a lot as uh, a default over here, but you can get more from this side. So that's it for Tomboy Notes. I really recommend Tomboy Notes. It's very good. Now Tomboy Notes also has um, a handful of uh, alternatives, uh, specifically G Note. G Note is actually this. It's, it's Tomboy Note itself. 
but uh, in a more lightweight form. Actually, if you go here, it's written uh, by default. It has a note using links in Tomboy, uh, Ubuntu One Integration, specifying Tomboy. It's actually not Tomboy, but it's a Genome Note, as I'll show you right now. Yeah, so uh, it does not feature uh, synchronization, but yeah, it's not bad actually. It's not too shabby. Uh, um, alternatives also include uh, X nodes, uh, K nodes, K jots, and various others. So um, thank you for um, spending your time in watching my video. Um, thumbs up if you like it. Share, subscribe. Yeah, see you.